Okay, let's take a look at this one where we're interested in calculating the basis in a partnership interest. Amy and Mitchell are equal partners in the accrual basis AM partnership. At the beginning of the current year, Amy's capital account has a balance of 300000 and the partnership has recourse debts of 200000 payable to unrelated parties. Assume that all partnership recourse debt is shared equally between the partners. So the following information about AM's operations for the current year is obtained from the partnership's records. Okay, and so here's what we see. Ordinary income was 400000 interest income was 4000 They had a long-term capital loss of 6000 a short-term capital gain of 12000 charitable contributions of 4000 and cash distribution to Amy of 20000 Now the last paragraph says, Assume that year-end partnership debt payable to unrelated parties is 140000 And here's what they're asking us to do. If all transactions are reflected in the beginning capital and basis in the same manner, what is Amy's basis in the partnership? Now, we have to calculate that at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. All right, so to answer part A, Assuming that Amy's capital account reflects an accurate number for basis purpose, let me say that again, for basis purposes, her beginning basis would be determined as you see here. We take the capital account at the beginning of the year, 300000 and then we take half of share of the AM's debt, which was 200000 times one half. So Amy's basis at the beginning of the year is 400000 now at the end of the year, we take that capital account beginning of the year, and we have to add in the taxable income, the interest income, and the net short-term capital gains. That gives us 205000 in total. So now we have a subtotal of 205 and 300000 gets us to 505. And then we have to subtract out the charitable contribution and the cash distribution to Amy. And when we reduce that, we get 483000 and we have one other thing to do. We have to add in um, the share of AM's debt, which is 140000 times one-half, right? And that's 70000 So when we add that in, we're able to compute Amy's basis at the end of the year, and that comes to that number you see to the left of my mouse, which is $553,000.